Batman's rogues gallery is one of the most iconic throughout the entire DC universe, and yet many of these villains are still underestimated when it comes to power. Hey everybody, I'm Josh Busker, and today we're going to be counting down the top 10 Batman villains more powerful than you think. Coming in at number 10, we have the intelligent zombie, Solomon Grundy. Inspired by a 19th century English nursery rhyme, Solomon Grundy was born centuries ago as a wealthy merchant, but after being murdered and having his body dumped in a swamp with mystical properties, he's now cursed to constantly be resurrected with slightly different properties each time. Usually being depicted as an incredibly physically strong zombie, Grundy's greatest power is his resilience to both magic and physical damage, meaning that every time he's faced by Batman, he needs to figure out a whole new clever plan to find a way to properly defeat him. Coming in at number 9, we've got to go with Clayface. When you're facing off against the world's greatest detective, being able to disguise yourself as anyone seems like a pretty useful skill to have. This alone would make Clayface a difficult foe for Batman to overcome, but combine that with the huge amounts of physical strength that Clayface possesses when he changes into his more monstrous Hulk-like form, and you have a rare mix of stealth and strength that keeps Bruce Wayne on his toes. This ability to manipulate others through careful mimicry allows Clayface to be far more intelligent than he appears. And while his skill as an actor comes across as funny in depictions such as the Harley Quinn TV show, it can be quite deadly under more serious circumstances. Coming in at number 8, we've got to go with the bladed assassin, Deathstroke. While in recent years, Slade Wilson has become more well-known for tormenting the Teen Titans, Deathstroke has also had many run-ins with the Justice League and the Dark Knight himself. With his brain operating at nine times the efficiency of a normal human brain, Deathstroke is exactly the type of opponent that pushes Batman to his physical limits, with a complete mastery of every weapon he has at his disposal. Combine that with his icon suit, which has been shown to even be able to withstand a punch from metahumans such as Superman, and this is a foe that Batman is always just barely able to outwit and defeat. Coming in at number 7, we have the malicious psychologist known as Hugo Strange. One of Batman's oldest villains, originally debuting only a few issues after the Caped Crusader himself in Detective Comics, Professor Hugo Strange was also one of the very first villains to ever figure out his secret identity as Bruce Wayne. While initially depicted as a typical mad scientist stereotype, more recent interpretations of the character have seen him as a devious manipulator, using his position of power as a doctor of psychology to examine the criminals of Arkham Asylum and scheming to gain power throughout Gotham City. It's this emphasis on mental ability rather than actual superpowers that makes Hugo Strange such an interesting villain to deal with and the fact that he's consistently been able to figure out Batman's biggest secret in multiple different universes means that Hugo Strange just might be one of Bruce Wayne's biggest threats. Coming in at number 6, we have Bane, the villain who broke the bat. A brilliant tactical warrior who was raised from childhood inside an island prison, Bane's most notable act was when he systematically eliminated Batman's support system and eventually faced and bested him in single combat, shattering Bruce Wayne's spine over his knee. This victory over the Dark Knight was only temporary, but has still given Bane an intimidating reputation that he more than lives up to, going on to become a supervillain crime boss and proving that Bane isn't just about pure physical strength, but that he's also a ruthless and brutal strategist as well, even willing to kill Alfred Pennyworth just to emotionally shatter Damian Wayne. It just goes to show that you should never ever underestimate Bane. Coming in at number 5, we have Oswald Cobblepot, aka The Penguin. The owner of the Iceberg Lounge, perhaps the most famous criminal hangout in all of Gotham City, the Penguin might look similar to his namesake, but is far more deadly in reality. While an impressive crime lord even without any superhuman enhancements, the Penguin is made extra deadly by the special umbrella he carries, which is always stuffed to the brim with different lethal gadgets to help him fight against Batman or any other supervillain that seems interested in starting a turf war. 
This unpredictability and Oswald's sanity not quite being all there make the Penguin an incredibly difficult opponent to read, hiding the fact that this crime lord is far more dangerous than he initially appears. Coming in at number 4, we've got the reality warping Batmite. A troublesome imp from the same fifth dimension as the Superman villain, Mr. Mixiez Pitalik, the Batmite is honestly more of a nuisance than a flat-out supervillain, often appearing just to try and challenge Batman or to see more of his heroic acts. Sending Batmite back to his own dimension is usually a tall order given his complete reality warping powers, but luckily the world's greatest detective is usually smart enough to outwit Batmite and send him packing to where he truly belongs. However, fifth dimensional beings have nearly limitless power within our regular three dimensional universe, meaning that Batmite should probably have a close eye kept on him in the future. Coming in at number three, we have Arthur Brown, aka the Clue Master. Not to be confused with the similarly themed Riddler, the Clue Master is a former game show host who wound up turning to crime in order to pay the bills. The father of Batman ally Spoiler, the Clue Master for a time seemed to embrace the role of being a second-rate supervillain, before it was eventually revealed that his status as a Riddler ripoff was actually intentional, and that organizing Batman's more underrated foes was his master plan all along to avoid detection. It's not often that a villain is able to temporarily outwit the caped crusader, and Clue Master shows just how powerful the right man with a plan can become. Coming in at number two, we've got Poison Ivy. Born under the name of Pamela Isley, Poison Ivy has always been dead set on protecting the green plant life of the planet Earth, and especially values it over human life. While well known for being able to control plants and utilizing poisonous kisses as a weapon, Ivy's powers may be beyond what she usually shows off. In a particularly noteworthy storyline, Poison Ivy was able to mind control essentially the entire human population of Earth through their consumption of fruits and vegetables. And while that's definitely some weird comic book logic as to how that would work, Batman was only barely able to defeat her by bringing her into contact with the one human being she cares about the most, Harley Quinn. And finally, coming in at our top spot, we have the Batman Who Laughs. In a dark alternate world where the Joker realizes he's dying and begins a mass killing spree of everyone in Gotham, Batman is forced to finally kill his iconic foe. Unfortunately, at the moment of death, Bruce Wayne is infected with a special brand of Joker venom that completely flips his moral compass, but leaves intact all of his intelligence and tactical planning. All of the chaos of the Joker with the brains of Batman, this supervillain is Bruce Wayne's worst nightmare come to life, and was able to become so powerful over the course of his war against the multiverse that he was only able to be defeated by a literal god mode powered Wonder Woman. That's all the time we have for today's video, so thank you all so, so much for watching. As always, I've been Josh Busker, and I'll see you all next time.